Department of Education. <laughs> Uh, speaking of education, uh, we have Hero and <laughs> Marth again. <laughs> we have said again. We have a different Hero. Yeah. We have VV. Yeah, and this this is a these are matchups that VV like definitely studies a lot. And I feel like VV is the type of hero where he'll 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 sit back and he'll look at his spells and he'll throw projectiles. He doesn't care. Yeah. Oh no no. I feel like I feel like <laughs> VV is much more belligerent. Oh he yeah. Is, he is he is unethical. He said, hey. I'm gonna throw this from across the stage. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna find every single way to cheat. I feel like in every set against Vivi that I've ever played, he has whacked me at least once. Oh my god! And and, and you know, and he'll and he'll do one disrespectful top deck, one disrespectful top deck per set, and he'll tilt you because he has like a quota. If he doesn't, if he doesn't beat it, he's just gonna explode on the spot. I've never seen him get um self destruct while he did that. Never. One day he will, but but not 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 today. It no, seems. It'll never happen in bracket, so there's no proof. So I feel like the most interesting thing to note about this set is like the duality, right, between like Silvio's hero versus Vivi's going into this matchup. Um, I feel like between the two already, Mono has just not. Maybe maybe it's like a little bit too soon to like pick at this, but Vivi has had a bit of a better time getting off the ledge. Yeah. I lied. I just lied. Oh, you died. You died for that, bro. You know what? As soon as I was saying it, I knew. I knew. I knew that Mono was gonna take the time. To, yeah. to, to try and kill him. But, but but I also think that, you know, Vivi also does play Lucario, right? And Lucario yeah. is a character that struggles mightily at the ledge. So Vivi has has a lot of work with doing these nexus at the ledge just not to get their stock in. Wow, but what a catch. Up tilt is huge. That was insane. That's like an Ike up smash. What happened? That is a true <laughs> anti air. That is that is the best sense of an anti air that we could possibly have. It is it is huge, it is big, and it covers uh, Hugo's space beautifully. So really good stuff to Vivi there. Um, and now Mano just trying to be able to get some juggles going, but Vivi uh, so ambiguous with some of his landings. Yeah, 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 like yeah, like you said, very ambiguous. So he's doing a lot of these empty lines into jabs and forward tilts right now. And just, you know, trying to throw up Mano's timing because t Mano's wow. a guy that, you know, he he thrives a lot off of your timing and punching you for it. But right now, Vivi's uh, doing pretty well. I thought it'd be pretty funny if you just said the thought that Mano's just a guy. He's just like a dude. He's a guy. He's just, he's just a guy vibing, right? He's yeah. just a guy. He's hanging out. He plays Smash sometimes, you know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Both of them just like sort of, you know, spacing out their respective full hop falling safe options, catching each other, just shielding, you know. Everybody just respecting each other a whole lot right now. Yeah. I want to see some jump callouts. Nobody, no, like, nobody, nobody has gone for like a rising aerial at all. Yeah, I feel like, wow. Yeah, that hit ledge. Apparently, that's a thing. That did that. At that spacing, I would not have been able to tell you. <laughs> I, I did not. Oh my thought? god! Oh my god! <laughs> yo, yo, he's gonna die. <laughs> he's gonna get his shield broken. <laughs> I can feel it. If he's like. I feel like one of the things that really like sets him apart is the way that he full hops backwards. It's such a small thing, mm -hmm. but the way that he full hops backwards and is ready to cover the next option, no matter what it is, he is so safe with it. It is so difficult to actually catch Vivi's jumps. Yeah, because he full hops with a purpose, right? I feel like every time he full hops, he full hops for a reason. You see some people full hops sometimes just with wow. the thought of getting in. There's no way. Oh, you died. Oh, he didn't hit him. Yeah, maybe space a little bit too far back, but now Mono gonna be looking to find a way to be able to get this edge guard and swats him away like a fly. Find the stock. And yeah, threatening high with the back air and going low with the forwarder, I like it. Mm -hmm. And again, bounce on deck. Even if it is a miss input sometimes, it just like gives you a higher chance of getting everything else. So yeah. it gets good of it on the menu. Yeah, yeah, that's that's most reason why heroes go for bounce with non projectile characters, just to get it off the list. Vivi just like, you know, not even opting to ledge trap that time around, just saying like, hey, I think I'll be able to get some more use if I was able to get like some buffs on deck. Now has Excel Battle on, finds the falling forwarder, and again, just not going out there, just understanding that Mono's a little bit too close to the stage. Yeah, and right now he has, oof. He's gotten punished with Sizzle on shield a lot. Mm -hmm. Oh, Mono, Mono is just tracking him so well, like and what a plank! plank. Yeah, B yeah, yeah. Vivi's playing for his life right now. 
BB is fighting for his life right now. Okay, good, good recovery high, getting stage position again. I think Mono didn't mean to fall that far back off because normally he just double jumps back onto that position. Oh, he went there. BB had the right idea, but a little bit too slow on the up tilt. That side B is surprisingly not going to be able to kill quite yet. This is still anybody's game to take because the Mono needs one big hit. BB does not have enough for an up B. No, he got the. Ah! He got. <laughs> <gasps> what to lose. Yo, did Vivi give up? Not did he give up and think that he wasn't gonna get zoom and then got zoom and didn't read? He did it top deck. The one time that he, he didn't top, top deck. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh my god. <laughs> he could have what? He could have. Uh, let's uh, let's see this again. Ready? What uh, happened here? What happened here? Did he like? Did he just give up? Did he click on it? No, he he opens up menu. Yeah. You can't immediately top deck. I think there's a little bit of stutter. Yeah, but like, right? what what happened there? Like, did he just give up before he realized he got zoom? Like, you gotta lead. Oh my goodness. Ah, oh, that is tragic. One, Thanks. Go. Um, wow. And what a comeback by Mono, man. Uh, we need to talk about that because Mono is actually, I feel like, down by a lot. And even like, and emotionally, I feel like Vivi is kind of in control of that. Uh, game two. Mono's already juggling so well, doing what he does best, just finding ways to consistently find more and more of those type of hits. Oh. Yeah. He's such a scary player. Oh my mm -hmm. goodness, and he had that too. You know what? I really would have thought that Mono would have gone through like a downer mm -hmm. uh, at yeah. that point. That's like what he usually does. I'm surprised that he didn't. Yeah, I, I think I think he was trying to just get the safe punish there in that situation. He's not trying to do anything crazy. Cause I feel like BV. I feel like he, I feel like he thinks BV's gonna do like some type of weird crazy punish on him, so he's just keeping it safe, getting the guaranteed damage. Mm -hmm. Gets the up tilt, and again, like Mono's juggling is so good. Like the way that he shugs you, the way that he's constantly finding those other hits, the way that he knows Ooh. how to deprive he, you he of it. your jumps. He topped it and got Hocus Pocus, and he, and he went to sleep. It's pretty funny. That's hilarious. Can he? Vivi's just Vivi's luck at the edge of the stage right now is just not. <laughs> Man, I love that. A little bit of healing before you die, you know. He's, he's not like found like a single one of those zooms in the position that he really needed to, which is oh, so tragic. That full hop was kind of wild. Up tilt, not taking it. Yeah, like yeah, like, he just I, he's he's honestly he's ready to uh, throw out these, throw out these um, items on his menu mm -hmm. at any point. I feel I feel like between the two, like Mono is like much more effective of a juggling. He he, oh, yeah. he finds a couple of hits. Vivi constantly like looks for those resets, mm. um, and and that's just like a good amount of damage output that Mono is just kind of excelling, um, you know, him in. But right now, Vivi finding a bit of a follow up for himself, almost finding the side B. Really surprised that that didn't connect. And I'd like the respect for Mono, just knowing that you know what, down B can still hit. And one thing is Mono's doing. Mono is letting Vivi swing first or go first. So a lot of situations where Mono's kind of reacting to things that he does, he's like he's yeah he's just letting him move first. He's letting him make the first turn, and he's like trying to make him you know make his own mistakes. Oh, but what a call out from Vivi! And again, up tilt so big, so strong. Vivi Vivi's starting to like really clean up his spacing a lot more, and and Mono's like struggling to win uh, some of these interactions now. Oh yeah, not getting in there. Yeah, and Vivi. Yeah, even though Vivi got that jab, just trying to keep it safe. And he left his four tilt percent. Like, I, I feel like his hit percent on these four tilts are like pretty high. Yeah, really. I knew absolutely have to be too. Definitely, definitely need to be high to play more. Um, yeah, like, yeah, good, good. Uh. Two consecutive side B's like that is so scary because unless you jump away, if you press a button, if you A dodge, mm -hmm. you just get hit again. Oh, you get smoked. Oh, that jump, that forward jump. Quad hit jump in. Uh, Mono, that was so aggressive, just double jumping off the ledge, but still was able to find a way to get back oh. on. Vivi going for an immediate up smash, which didn't work because he was like, uh, like, you know, fading in a little bit with mm. the down in, so his spacing was a bit off. Maybe he's being really patient right now, just waiting to send the shades, getting getting his resources. Oh, that dash back was so smart. Oh my god, the, the dash back and the, and the subtle and the subtle wait, right? That just make VB drop his shield to get that punish. Oh, speaking of weights. And it's so scary because even if the F tilt does hit your shield, it is safe enough. But what a landing catch from VB. Yeah, man. Um, his his implementation of hero F tilt has just been impeccable. Yeah, um, using it as like a very strong punish tool. Uh, this punishing Mono's landing, and I feel like you know when we, when we compare the heroes, right? 
Th that's one of those things that uh, Sex Silvio didn't do as much, right? BB's actively trying to punish Mono really hard on his landings, right? Or he's knowing when to pull back when when uh, Mono's off stage and just like just gaining his resources, right? Like he doesn't care. I feel like going into this next game. I don't know. I feel like Mono kind of played the same. BB adapted. Yeah. That's 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 really like what yeah. it boiled down to. BB found a lot more damage. He found a lot more up tilt. He, you know, he was able to juggle Mono a little bit. He was able to find a lot of like really really important like um, psych ups and moves. Um, that really helped him out in actually you know, getting kills with up tilt. So going into game two, Battlefield, this is where Mono like loves to be. You know, F tilt auto like spaces are typically up tilt as well and F smash. Like this, this is a nasty stage to begin against Mono. Oh, also yeah. dash attack maybe. No. Yeah, yeah. yeah but right now, yeah, VV just getting Colorado on it. I feel like this is this is a very important um, uh, upgrade for Hero right in this matchup. I feel like that's one thing that where Hero can abuse the fact that Mar can't deal with speed very well sometimes. Just to go through some like unreactable jab mix-ups. I was really smart, but I think like Mono is just so ready for that situation. Jab, jab like one and two on shield from Hero mm -hmm. is one of the scariest things. Yeah, but it's a frame five move. It's frame five. You know, it's 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 so scary. You could you could that is objectively one of the most slept on ways that Hugo cheats. But once again, these up tilts, so good. BB's up tilts are so good. It's disgusting. Like uh, BB's up tilts, right, are just really good. And that's the one thing that Mono has been excelling at that other people haven't. It's just punishing landings. And BB's up tilt punishing on landings has been really strong. He's just been getting it each time. He just like see he locks his eyes onto you. He like sees you guys. And then as soon as he sees you enter like that space, he presses up tilt beautifully without fail each time. So lovely stuff. Just being very patient this movie, right? Knowing that he has the lead. Not really trying to push him much and like yeah, now Mono's rolling in, just trying to get an opening, right? Vivi's making this wall very very strong and that forward smash is kinda wild. And it hit. It, I mean, it did the job. Vivi's just moving through that Mono now. Mm -hmm. Especially the Accelerator on deck. Mono is struggling to get in. He's finding all of these follow-ups now. Now Vivi's just finding so many straight hits, catching so many different jumps. Had the right idea, but a little bit too slow on the dash grab. Um, but either way, Mono is now like struggling to get his feet like planted again. Yeah, and Mono is being very impatient right now. And you can tell he's a little bit frustrated, right? We saw three straight rollings from Mono. That's he's trying to get in. And <laughs> that was so smart. That was so smart. He knew, he knew that VV was gonna shield. So he just went through the neutral B and he didn't get the shield here, which is tragic. And wow. Yo? <laughs> I'm not, I will never, I will never get used to uh, Kaboom hitting like that off like sometimes. Yeah. It's so scary. It's so big. Mana going all the way out there, but VV once again just going to be able to find that too. Gets back on. Up tilt does not kill that heal actually coming in quite clutch. Yeah. Um, yeah, for it though, trying to get it almost like off stage. Yeah, and like, oh man, yeah, VV is committed. Man. Yeah, his recovery, I mean, his recovery mix ups this game, man. Really taking to the bank for him right now. His recovery mix ups look so solid, but then like Mana committing off stage like that is huge because he took damage and Mana can't make it back. Finally getting the jump call out with the up tilt thing. Really, really good stuff, but. He needs to pull a fast one. Yeah, and and, and BB is just gaining his resources, right? I mean, catch him in. Very similar to when he did that turnaround forward smash a little bit ago, just trying to catch uh, Mono dashing in. He's just playing so carefully, not really committing to anything. That was so smug, just catching the dash uh, shield. That's what Mono has been using to get in half the time. And with that kind of lead, if somebody's getting that confident of a grab on you, you're dead. Wow. Good DI, good DI. Yeah, more Accelerado action. Vivi yeah. outplayed him so hard. Yeah, like after that game one, I feel like Vivi took a much more measured approach going into game two and three when it came to his mix-ups at the ledge and recovering, mm -hmm. and just his resource management. And I feel like that's the thing that people, you know, people. I feel like people think that heroes kind of just like shuffle through a deck and see what like the funny button is. Yep. But you know, your resource management with your mana, which people don't really think about much, his mana usage, right, is like very integral, like what he yep. does and how he interacts with the other character. So. Yep. VV was really conservative with it. Had enough, like when he really needed to. But the biggest thing was was jump callouts, mm -hmm. and and catching landings with up tilt. That game two and game it's three, wow, delicious. He got so many kills. He got so much damage that way. And then really the biggest thing. Um, 
I just feel like Mono was committing so much offstage. Vivi got back on. Mono was just not able to find these edge guards at all. Mm -hmm. um, which, you know, game one, I do think he was doing a little bit better of a job. Yeah. At. And, and it's the adaptation, like we talked about, right? The, the adaptation of, like, you know, going low, calling out a lot of things that he yeah. was doing, and then Vivi just stopped doing them. And Mono, but Mono kept going for the reads that worked for him earlier and uh, didn't adapt accordingly. You know, we have a hero. Mm -hmm. um, game three win. Yep. God but bless. With that being